Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting up these two pothos that I have here and then I'm going to be propagating the cuttings from these and um, putting them back into the pots because um, I want to make them a bit fuller on the top um, and have a bigger and lusher plant. So this guy here is nice and full at the front, but at the back, he's looking a little bit bald on the back just here. So I'm going to take some cuttings from the long vines and propagating and putting them in the back here. So that way I have more on this side of the plant. If you're wanting to increase your variegation on your leaves, you want to provide um, some more sunlight. So if you notice that the new growth is coming through with a lot of variegation, you know that you're giving it the right lighting conditions. But if you notice further back up here, when I had it sitting somewhere where it didn't have a whole lot of light, a lot of the new growth wasn't coming through with a lot of variegation. So I've recently changed it into a new spot and the new growth is looking decently variegated. Um, that's a new leaf there. So you can see there that the new growth is really variegated because I have increased its light intake. So that's a trick to getting some more variegation on this particular plant. Um, another thing is if you want um, larger leaves, having it on a trellis or um, a stake or a moss pole um, is going to encourage bigger leaves. Whereas if you have it hanging, um, you'll notice that the leaves get smaller and smaller as it goes down. Another thing with these guys is with watering. Um, this guy in particular, I will wait until the leaves are looking pretty droopy, um, pretty limp. As you can see right now, they're pretty perky um, and they're nice and firm. So that's um, a sign that it doesn't need to be watered just yet and that it's pretty happy. So I generally like to wait until the plant tells me that it needs water with um, most of my plants. So. Um, so I'll insert a photo here of my Philodendron Brazil before and after it was watered. So you can see here that the leaves were looking really soft and limp. And after being watered, you can see that they're back to being nice and perky again. So generally that's the sort of signs I look out for watering with these guys. So when it comes to fertilizing these guys, I like to use this Seasol fertilizer spray. So you literally just um, spray it directly onto the leaves and it absorbs through the foliage. So when I notice that um, it's putting off a lot of new growth, I'll give it a spray over maybe every two to four weeks. Depending on if it's putting out new growth, if it's slowing down, I won't generally fertilize as um, I think the general rule is to only fertilize um, if the plant is actually actively growing. If it's not, you can actually harm the plant by fertilizing it. Um, with my um, satin pothos here, I generally like to watch for um, curling of the leaves. So you can sort of see here, this leaf is a little bit sort of curled uh, and that's generally a sign that it's, um, that it's due for a watering pretty soon. So if I just test the soil, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty dry. I'll have to give that a, give that a water today actually. Um, so that is a sign I look for with this particular plant. It does have a few leaves that are um, a bit damaged, but I mean, it doesn't really concern me too much. I mean, um, if it's something that isn't aesthetically pleasing to you, you can always cut them off. That's fine. It's going to encourage new growth anyway. Um, so yeah, these guys take really well to pruning. So pruning will encourage more growth. Um, so if you find that it's not growing all that well, try pruning it back, uh, making sure that you cut, um, you cut just below a node so that um, the plant can grow from the node. So that's just a few little tips that I have for these guys in regards of general care. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut back um, most of this um, most of this growth on this satin pothos because I'm going to propagate I'm going to propagate most of this and then I'm going to put the propagations back into the pot so that I get a fuller plant. So I'm going to go ahead now and prune this one back. I'm sorry if this breaks your heart, but it's good for the plant. It's going to encourage more growth and I'm gonna have a fuller plant in the end. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut below the node just here. So the node being um, just here where the leaf connects to the stem. So I'm gonna cut just below. 
And there's that. And then the same for this other one here. I'm going to cut. Um, I'm going to cut just here. Okay. And so what you want to do is you basically want to go. Um, you basically want to go along the stem and cut at each node. So cutting off each of the leaves so that you've got a little bit of the stem and the node there. So the water is going to be taken in through here and then the roots will grow from the node. And then we're going to do the same thing all the way down the stem. So apologies for my fingernails. I don't get time to sit down and paint them anymore. Uh, hashtag mum life. Um, but these pieces of the stem, um, you can pretty much get rid of those because they are basically useless now. Um, there's no node on these, so nothing will grow out of these. So go ahead and just get rid of those. Okay, so that is one of the stems done. I'm going to pop these in the propagation box now and I'm going to do the same thing on the other stem and I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see here, I've got a couple of other, um, I've got a couple of other pieces of satin pothos propagating in here, which I'm going to actually add to the um, plant that I just cut up. So you can see here that this guy has a fair amount of roots and it's pretty much ready to be potted up. So I'm going to do that today also. And I have this piece here as well, which probably can be potted up also. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pop all of those leaves in here that I just cut up. So making sure that the stem and the node is completely into the moss. All right, so they're all in there now. Um, my moss is feeling a little bit dry, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a good mist and make sure that the moisture is up. All right, so I'm gonna pop the lid on that just to keep that moisture contained. And I'll move that to the side. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this propagated piece into the pot here. So I'll just go ahead and dig out a space for that. Just gonna pop that in there. I'm getting soil everywhere. Okay. And then I'm gonna give that a water once I'm done just to um, help the soil settle around those roots and help it stay in place a little bit better. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this little piece in as well. So I'm just gonna put this down in here okay so I'm gonna go and give that one a good water um, and just to help the soil settle in around the roots and I'll be right back I've just given that one a good watering and now I'm going to move on to my golden pothos so um, you can see that it's got here a fairly long vine happening so um, as much as it breaks my heart because I love how it trails in my kitchen, but I kind of want to fill the back of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut most of this vine off. I'm thinking I will probably um, cut it to here. So, uh, oh, that was hard. <laughs> that was really hard. And then just like the satin pothos, I'm going to go ahead and cut off each of these leaves. All right, so that is that stem done. So I think I'm going to water propagate these ones um, because I'm running out of room in my propagation box. So I'll show you how I do that in a moment. Uh, I'm pretty much going to leave the plant how it is now because I kind of like how I've got two trailing off to the side. And then once I have propagated all of these leaves here, I'm going to put them all in the back of it here so that eventually I'll have a nice full plant. But as I said before, I'm going to water propagate this one. So I'm going to go put them in the water and then I'll show you how I have them set up. Okay, so all I have here is basically four plastic cups and I've just sort of taped them all together. Um, this is like the poor man's propagation station. <laughs> I can't afford a propagation station. But essentially you just want to have something that will hold water and then you just want to put a little bit of water in it and then what you want to do is make sure that the node is submerged into the water just like that so i'm going to put a couple of leaves per cup 
So to be able to propagate, the plant needs to keep warm. So you want to make sure that you put it in a spot that is nice and warm. So I'm just going to put these guys in my west facing window because um, that window gets a lot of bright indirect light from around midday all the way until the late afternoon. So that's going to be a perfect spot for propagation. So I'm going to go ahead and put those guys there now. Okay, so I've got these guys sitting in the windowsill now. So as you can see, it's really bright here, but it's not direct sun because it's um, filtered by the mesh that's outside of my window. So this should hopefully be a really good spot for propagation as it's receiving a lot of light, a lot of warmth. So I will give updates on the progress on these guys. You should expect to start seeing some root growth over the next week or two. Um, generally, it takes maybe three to four weeks, depending on the type of plant for propagation. Um, but generally with pothos, I find that they propagate, they propagate quite easily. So I should see some root growth from these guys pretty soon. I've also gone and put my satin pothos back up in the window here, which is in the same window as the propagating pothos over there. So hopefully we'll start to see some new growth in this guy soon. And my golden pothos lives out here in my kitchen on top of my bread box. Um, which gets a lot of uh, bright indirect light in the morning. Um, in the early mornings, it does get maybe an hour or two of direct sun, um, but it's, it's that really gentle early morning sun, so um, it's not too harmful on the plant, and it actually loves being out here. Um, eventually, my goal for this guy is to have it trailing all along underneath my cabinets, and um, I want to eventually put some grow lights up under here and then have a lot more plants growing out here because I do have this this bench in my kitchen which is fairly empty I mean it has like my toaster and my fruit bowl and stuff like that but I want to utilize this space for more plants because you know plants so that is it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it I thought while I was just pruning my plants and propagating I would do a little video just to show you guys um, how I do it and why I do it and just a couple of tips about pothos care So hopefully you found it informative in some way and it encourages you to go and prune your plants I it is hard. It is a hard thing to do Especially when it, they've put out so much growth and they're so beautiful and then you go and just hack at them But honestly, it's going to encourage that new growth. And it's going to make the plant fuller and happier so don't be too scared to prune away. Uh, I did prune my um, Brazil back a few weeks ago and I've actually got new, new leaves coming in. Uh, there's another one over here. Uh, there's another one just over here. So it obviously, it obviously shows that cutting it back is going to encourage new growth. Here's a little shot of my Christmas tree set up. Yes, I have to have a baby gate because babies um yeah so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to head on over to my channel and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>